so I think it's important to make this correlation. We have this goal. We have a certain goal in our tradition, certain sadhya. And that goal has a certain nature, certain dynamics. Things happen in a certain way there. But the point is, where I am now, how much I am gradually getting close to how things are operating in the spiritual world. Because if in the spiritual world, everything is new and transforming. And here, as a sadhaka, as a practitioner, I'm in total denial of changing and transformation. Do you think that will take you closer to Golok <laughs> <laughs> so so the, uh, the actual way to reach the spiritual world is to gradually get closer and closer to it here it's not that I leave my body and I'm in totally different sentence, situation but suddenly I'm transferring to Golok Vrindavan <laughs> it doesn't work like that so for me the book Radical Personalism has to do with that like sharing some some reflections, some meditations on different topics about how we can, as a sadhaka nowadays, conduct ourselves in practice in a way that our goal, the nature of our goal becomes more part of our daily life. Not so much like here I am practi practicing and there's the goal completely different or something, no? but trying to understand the goal in one sense is here and now if I am properly aligned with reality. It's not in some future time, in some distant land. <laughs> it's a state of consciousness. Srila Siddhar Maharaj will say, Vrindavan is a state of consciousness. So we can access that state of consciousness gradually from where we are. I mean, if we don't start to get closer there from where we are, we will not get there at all. <laughs> it all begins here and of course when we say it all begins here someone may say but Maharaj here I mean it's my situation at present is not very Goloka like no? <laughs> it's embarrassing it's a mess it's limited again it's not Ascharya Bhat I've not seen the Ascharya Bhat the wonderful stuff here <laughs> but the point is it doesn't matter you have to begin from whatever you are and deal with whatever you need to deal as part of our Humanity. That's a point that also I make, try to make in my book. The, the role of humanity in spirituality. You know, and how I, I, we will talk one other day more in detail that practicing bhakti doesn't mean stopping being human. On the contrary. You know, because our goal is Nara Lila. Where the divine is fully human and fully divine. So if you want to enter again a land that is fully human, fully divine, well, you are invited to be fully human and fully divine yourself. <laughs> and that begins here and now. <laughs> what we are doing with our humanity and how can we integrate our humanity in the spiritual project. Not seeing humanity and spirituality as opposites. Not thinking that becoming transcendental being, means to reject everything there's nothing to reject well, there's only one thing to reject as once one devotee asked Srila Prabhupada he approached Prabhupada and said Prabhupada disciple I'm willing to reject everything for your sake for your service Srila <laughs> Prabhupada replied the only need that you need to reject the only thing that you need to reject is the idea that you need to reject anything, something. Oh. <laughs> That's the only thing you need to reject. The idea that I have to reject. There's nothing to reject. Everything can be accepted in service of Bhagavan. That Yukta Vairagya. Everything is a Shakti, of Shakti Man, an energy of the energetic. So we only need to, re like the GPSA, recalibrating. <laughs> we need to recalibrate our vision so we can engage with everything from the proper place. <laughs>